In your Colts Blue Zone, NFL roster cuts are in. The team is now down to the league's requirement, 53 players. Each weekday until the season opener, we're asking one question about the Colts and what to expect from this year's squad. We're here with Chris Hagan for question number two. I feel like we're right here at the stadium with you. <laughs> uh, so here's today's question, Chris. What are the key takeaways from today's roster cuts? The remarkable thing about this year not much was remarkable. You kind of knew what you're going to get. No big surprises. But as far as those younger guys trying to make the roster, we'll talk about that in a second. But huge news today, Jelani Woods out for the season with turf toe. Good. The uh, second year in a row he's placed on injury wow. reserve. He won't play a game either this year or last year. And they are leaving the door open, though, for last year's sack leader, Samson Ebukam. They're hoping to maybe get him back in November or December. So big news regarding a couple of vets. As for the cuts today, a couple of local products among them, Warren Central grad Michael Tutsi and Demetric Felton out of Lawrence Central. There was some buzz around rookie QB Jason Bean, but he is let go too. Perhaps brought back to the 16-man practice squad. Running backs Evan Hull and Xavier Scott also let go. But according to our Mike Chappell, staying off this list at 4 o'clock doesn't guarantee you'll still be around for the season opener. This is a very, very cruel day in the NFL. Uh, you see the roster, the 53 players that make it across the league. Maybe a marginal bubble guy makes it. He calls home and says, hey, Mom, I made it. And then the team looks at the waiver wire, and they find two or three players better or better fits. The Colts, I really believe they're going to sign a player or two from the waiver wire. They're 15th in, in the order, so they'll put claims in. Uh, n never consider the 53-player roster solid. They're always tweaking it. Yeah, a former GM once told me the roster is like a bonsai tree. You're always trimming True, it. It's yeah. never <laughs> set in stone. It's always in flux. And that'll be the case. Some of these guys right now that say, hey, I made the squad. An hour later, they get the call. Sorry, but you That's didn't. That's what's so tough about the, sure. the league in yeah, general. You have people game. who just yeah. truly their dreams are to get the call, and they haven't gotten it yet, and they may, and others who've gotten the call, and then it's like, just kidding. And J yeah. Jason being let go, the quarterback, that means they're sticking with Sam Ellinger as mm -hmm. the three. He'll be on the roster. Yeah. Of course, uh, Joe Flacco, who That's right. Dan was a big Second fan of last back. year. Yeah. So the quarterback spot, yeah. they're going with all three of those guys. Uh, you keep being on the practice roster. He's kind of a work in progress, something that could grow right. into something special down the road, but you'd like to have him back unless somebody else goes out there and grabs him before yeah. he can get in that Flacco practice squad. incredible season. In Off the couch year, into so the playoffs. We'll see if he gets some playing what, time here or if AR can really get it done. Yeah, the Colts fans don't want to see any of Flacco. I can no, tell I think that. No, I think all number five. Please and thank you. We want to see him healthy. We want to see him playing well, no doubt. That's right. Chris, thank you so much. You Chris will be back tomorrow with our third question, burning question leading up to the season opener, which is at home against the Houston Texans September 8th at Lucas Oil Stadium. You can watch the game on our partner station, CBS4. Coverage begins with the Colts Blue Zone pregame show at 1130.